Welcome to Power Notes, your personal research assistant that helps you efficiently gather research, keep it organized, and track source links and citations. To get started, just go to powernotes.com, download and install our extension in your Chrome browser, and create an account. Remember to use your school email address when you sign up, as many schools have institutional accounts with Power Notes and have already paid for premium access to their students. Once you've signed up, you can start researching. PowerNotes Streamlight interface lets you save, annotate, organize, and track all your research in a couple clicks. It's a lot faster than copying and pasting content into a separate document, and it also keeps you in the right place on the source document, so you don't interrupt your reading flow. Once you find an important passage you may want to use for your research, just highlight it. The Power Notes topic pop-up will appear as soon as you finish your highlight and prompt you to select a topic. Pick a topic and then an annotation box will appear so that you can take notes on whatever you just highlighted. Note that you don't have to take any notes if you don't want to. Once you finish these steps, Power Notes will save everything in the sidebar. Here you can see what you highlighted in quotation marks followed by your notes and a link back to the source. Power Notes also automatically gather citation information for each passage you save. For most websites, like popular news websites and blogs, we automatically gather all the information you need to create a citation. For other websites, we provide a form where you can fill the information you need once you have it and apply it to other annotations you make from that resource. Note that for certain legal databases, we automatically gather a formatted citation. Power Notes saves and categorizes all this information every time you highlight something. In the background, Power Notes is organizing the information into an annotated outline that will come in handy when you're ready to write your paper. Note that you should always check the automatically gathered citation material from each source. You can do this in Power Notes by clicking on the quotation mark icon to view the citation that was gathered and edit it as necessary. Once you think it's ready to go, just click the Save to Sources button. You will notice that the quotation icon turned from gray to green, meaning that you have approved it. If you are ever having a problem with a page or something isn't working right, just click on the Feedback button that's in the sidebar or in the Chrome extension dropdown. You'll get a comment box with the URL pre-filled so it's easy to send us any issues you are having. When you start a paper, you typically don't have enough of background in that area of research to know what all your topics should be from the outset. But as you research and learn more, you understand the nuances of the issue and related literature. Power Notes has a flexible interface where you can easily add and manipulate topics so that your outline can evolve with your growing knowledge. Easily add topics while researching by clicking the plus icon at the bottom of the topic pop-up. You can also reorder topics or change topic names by clicking on the gear icon and change topic names in the sidebar. Power Notes is also easy to navigate and stays out of your way when you're not doing research. So it's easy to get the sidebar out of your way or move the Power Notes logo if it's obstructing something you want to see. It's also simple to turn the Power Notes extension on or off by selecting enable or disable from the Chrome extension toolbar. You can also change projects while researching from the sidebar or create a new project. When you have multiple projects, you can manage them on our project dashboard as well as create new projects. Research should be an iterative process where you collect research, then assess and reorganize it, and then do more research. The project outline page facilitates that process. You access the project outline by clicking on the link in the upper right hand corner of the sidebar. To start, you can update your project name or description. In the project outline itself, you can practice skills like paraphrasing. As your outline starts to take shape, you can add, update, and reorder topics. You may also wish to move passages that you save within a topic or to a different topic, which you can do by dragging and dropping or using the menu option on each card.
When you're ready to write, you can download your research outline. This is a much better starting point for writing than having a document full of disorganized quotes. Also, you can download your citation information into an RIS file and upload that file to popular citation managers like EasyBib, Zotero, and others. For other information on how PowerNotes handles citations and RIS files, please visit our blog. To try PowerNotes yourself, please visit our homepage to add our Chrome extension to your browser. Or if you'd like to learn more or have questions, please visit our blog at blog.powernotes.com.